Did you wash your hands? Uh, yeah. Oh, cause it's, it smells kind of funny. It should have. guys and welcome back to my channel so I want to take a, a few minutes to kind of highlight my fake cousin pretty Brie MUA um, she's actually the best friend of my cousin Nikki if you guys have me on Instagram and YouTube you've seen my cousin Nikki that's Callie's mom I'm absolutely when I have a daughter I want to have a daughter that looks exactly like Callie um, and Nikki, of course, is my favorite cousin because anytime I would come to Miami, she would let me take her car and use her house when I was broke and I had no money for a rental or an Airbnb. But yeah, Brie is her best friend. So by default, unfortunately for her, she is also now my cousin. And she is my cousin who is an amazing, an amazing makeup artist. But for whatever reason, the girl don't do makeup. I have been begging her for years to do my makeup. And this was the only opportunity I can actually sit down and she would do it. She did it with an attitude. But in between me working of steaming clothes, picking out accessories, cleaning up, pouring wine for everybody, making sure everybody was, you know, being served. She was a good sport and actually helped me while I was working so that I could work a lot faster so she could finish my makeup. But one thing I really do appreciate about Brie is the fact that she started as one thing, but once she became like, you know, a successful YouTuber, what she, what her strongest skill set or her strength, she didn't let it determine her career path. I don't know. I'm, I'm doing a lot of like shadow work on myself on how to better use my strengths to not define me, but just create kind of like a, a easier life. Brie is an amazing makeup artist. But like I said, she don't have to do makeup no more, even though that's a great strength that she has. You know, she rests in her femininity and does things that, you know, just really cater to her emotional health and her well-being and that's something that I really want to focus on for 2023 and I just feel like sometimes when you're growing up you have this kind of blueprint in your mind of what you felt you had to be in order to like receive like safety security love and abundance and sometimes like you think of your like cosmic alignments as your star print it's important to retain a sense of like practicality as you align with your star print but you can also welcome a new sense of magic I guess um for people who don't understand <laughs> what I'm basically saying is like sometimes just because you're good at one thing and that one thing can bring you money or bring you a great job sometimes you have to sit back and think like what really matters to you you know like take a moment to think about like what lights you up the things that matter deeply to you when you are, you know, thinking about where your true purpose lies. You know, sometimes I have to, like, write down. I don't do the stupid affirmations and write them on the wall. That's just, that's just not my thing. But one thing I love to do is journal. In my journal, I always, like, write down. I feel most fulfilled when I do this. A memory that makes me happy is this. I always seem to make time to do this. The tasks that keep me fully engaged are this. I feel most of myself when I do this. I feel most energized when I do that. Um, even though, like, I'm very aggressive and I'm a bitch, I feel like sometimes I'm a people pleaser for the people that I care about. And it takes time away from things that I care about. And I notice that I don't realize what's going on around me because I'm trying to roll, not even roll with the punches, but I'm trying to roll faster than the punches. And I realize when I journal and I give myself specific tasks to kind of put in perspective, I notice that I'm not really doing something that fulfills like my spiritual purpose or makes me happy. I'm doing it as a way to benefits other people in the future or something that I, I can do with 
other people versus just doing stuff for myself. And I feel like this upcoming year, I just really want to pay attention to, you know, values that are really incorporated in my own personal goals. With that being said, right after the photo shoot, I had to get on the plane to go to none other than New York. And here starts my vlog. Pick me up from the airport. He's so cute. Come get my stuff, man. I can't be doing this shit. I'm coming, daddy. Yeah. Yes, I see you. I see my papa. I love him so much. Honey, I always be like, you know, I miss New York. I miss New York. I can't wait to go home. Girl, I felt this cold breeze. I felt this cold breeze. And immediately, I'm thinking about putting my, my flight back to Florida as soon as... Hi, Papa! You look so cute! Look at my daddy came to pick me up! Wait, this has my, um... My everything in it. Thanks. God bless you. Daddy came to get me! Thank you, Daddy, for picking me up! Princess treatment as soon as I get off the plane. My pappy, my pappy picked me up from the airport. Oh God. Uh, Daddy, I, I felt that cold breeze. I had to take out my inhaler. I ain't felt, I ain't felt to chill like that. Yeah, what inhaler? You got no inhaler. Yes, I do. Why? When? You don't remember? You don't remember um, when I thought I had COVID and then I find out I had asthma? Cause remember it was wheezing. I never knew that. I never knew you had an inhaler. I, I thought maybe it was cause your lips are getting so big. Always oh, shade. Anyway, so I have a really busy day today. I have a lot of work to do, and then I have um, I have a facial and a massage scheduled at one o'clock um, in Queens. I'm flushing. I'm gonna take an Uber. Um, and so yeah, I have to hang out with my family. I can drop you off for that. You know, I gotta go to work tonight. So I'm here at the Slim Herbal Spa and so I'm going to be um, changing into this because I'm going to be using the M Sculpt machine. I'm super, I'm going to be using the M Sculpt machine for the first time. Super, super nervous. You guys know I've been doing Pilates, I've been working out, I've been doing Kalanis, I've been doing detox and like, I don't know, being over 200 pounds makes it like basically impossible to get that saggy skin to kind of pull back without surgery. So we're going to be trying the M Sculpt. See how that goes. I heard I love New York. I heard it hurts, so hopefully it doesn't hurt that bad. <laughs> this is my first time doing it, so I'm super, super nervous. And this video is not sponsored by Slim Herbal Herbal. However, you know, make sure to show them some love. The links and everything will be in the description box below. Because they did hold your girl down with uh, the the facial and the m sculpt so yeah all their booking information and they're located in queens will be in the description box below Sorry, I'm so I'm 
honest they like after a while the m sculpt start stopped hurting and started just becoming like an irritation type of pain so while that was going on they came in and started working on my facial and body contouring as well <laughs> So I came to this cute little spot around the corner that I've actually saw so many reviews on. It has the cutest like little setup for the food. The Kung Pao chicken is fabulous. You guys know that since I've been living in Atlanta and Miami, I have not been able to find good, I don't want to call it Chinese because it's not technically Chinese food, but Asian food, Oriental food, like, our, I don't know what it is about non-New York places, they don't know how to make good Asian food, and that's the best thing about living in New York, is that you can always find, like, the best Asian food. 
leather on any budget. This restaurant is not really that expensive, truth be told. The food is like probably like $30, $40. Chopsticks are real. And it's just like in New York, our Chinese food is not like Chinese food. Like it's just another cuisine that like only New Yorkers kind of like have. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. But yeah, my facial was really good. It reminded me of this book that I read um, by the owner of Tasha. If you guys are not familiar with Tasha, it's a skincare company that you can find at Sephora. It's super, super expensive. The um, the owner's name is Victoria Tai. I think Tai, I think that's how you say her name is. But she wrote a book called Pure Skin. I'm basically outlining, you know, how she started her skincare company and different skincare routines um, that she did. I just want to let you guys know that that facial and like the body sculpting contouring with the M-Sculpt, that legit took two hours. I got there at 1, it's 3 o'clock and I'm just not finishing. I know you're thinking like, why would you do M-Sculpt and then eat right after? And it's just because, I'm gonna go to the bathroom after this, truth be told. So if, I'm, if it's already on its way out, I'm not gonna enjoy myself, but yeah. When she did my um, facial, it took a really long time because she kept like cleansing and cleansing and moisturizing and cleansing, moisturizing and cleansing, moisturizing. It was just like so many different like steps and layers. And usually when you get facials, it's like seven steps. This one had like 18. It took really good. But it was nice. That's one thing I miss about being home is that I always get invited to like nice restaurants and nice spa days and stuff like that and I don't know who I gotta talk to in Miami or who I gotta talk to in Atlanta because I would like to be treated the way I'm treated in New York outside of New York I don't know my name only runs deep in the city and truth be told I don't want to move back I miss New York. I love coming to places to meet my friends and my family, um, eating amazing food, but certain things I just can't, I can't go back to. It'll hinder my growth. But yeah, I'm out here for the next week, so after this I'm going to try to get my hair done because my hair looks crazy. And then I have like a bunch of content photos tomorrow. So that way for the rest of the week I can enjoy my time with my family and my friends. So yeah.